How many shares of market value rupees 25 each can be purchased for rupees 12,750, brokerage being 2%? Well, we have been given the total cost price, that means the amount required to purchase all of the shares, that's 12,750. Let us find out what is the cost price of each share. You know, it is equal to the market value is 25 rupees. So the cost price will obviously be the market value, that's 25, but we have also a brokerage that is being levied by 2%. So 25 plus we have 2%, so 2% of again the cost price, that's 25, right? So 25 plus 2 by 100 times 25. Is that right? So 25 times 4 is 100, 2 times 2 is 4. So 25 plus 1 by 2, that's 25.5, right? So that is the cost price of each share. We need the total number of shares. So the number of shares is equal to the total investment made, that is the total cost price, that's 12750 divided by the cost price of each share, that's 25.5, right? And when solved, that gives you 500. So the total number of shares are 500 and that's option B. A man invests in a 16% stock at 128. What is the interest obtained by him? Now you might confuse this interest with dividend. But that is not the case because we have already been given the dividend, that is the rate of the dividend. Okay, now what does this statement mean? 16% stock at 128. It means that if the face value of the stock is 100 rupees, I get the market value as 128 rupees. And the dividend is 16% of the face value. And the face value is obviously 100, so the dividend will be 16 rupees. Now, what do you mean by interest? Well, interest is basically the amount gained upon the amount invested, isn't it? And to make it a percentage, we just multiply it by 100. So this interest becomes percentage. What is the gain here? Well, the gain is the dividend. You earn money if you invest in the stock market, if you buy shares. So this is the gain. And what is the investment? Investment means how much you paid to buy the shares. So Basically, you paid the market value of the share to buy it. So this is the investment, the market value. Let's put the values in the formula and get the answers. So interest percentage is equals to gain is 16 upon the investment is 128 times 100, isn't it? Now, 4 times 25 is 100. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 times 32 is 28. Now, again, 16 times 2 is 32. So this is equal to 25 by 2 and that is 12.5%. Right? So option D is the correct answer. One thing is that don't confuse the interest obtained with the dividend. Both the terms are quite different. A man invested 4,455 rupees in rupees 10 shares quoted as rupees 8.25. If the rate of the dividend be 12%, what is his annual income? So you have been asked, what is the dividend? So what is the formula for dividend? Well, dividend is calculated on the face value. So it is equals to, the rate is 12%, so 12% of the face value. So basically you need the face value, that is the total face value of all the shares, isn't it? Now, from where you can get that? Well, if you closely look at this part of the question, you'll get most of the data. So, rupees 10 shares quoted as rupees 8.25. So, I can say that the face value is 10 rupees and the market value is 8.25 rupees, right? Of one share, okay? Now, we can calculate the number of shares and then from the number of shares we can calculate the total face value. So the number of shares is equals to the total market value that means the amount at which um, these shares were purchased that means the amount invested and that's 4455. So 
total amount invested that is the total cost price that's 4455 divided by the cost price of one share and that's the market value that's 8.25 isn't it so if you solve this you'll get it as 540 so number of shares is 540 we need the total face value so total face value will be equal to the number of shares that's 540 times the face value of one share that's 10 right so this is 5400 the total face value now we can calculate the income or the dividend it is 12 percent of the total face value that's 12 upon 100 times 5400 cancelling out the zeros i get 12 times 54 is equal to 648 so the dividend is 648 rupees and that is option c a man invested rupees 14,400 in rupees 100 shares of a company at 20% premium. If the company declares 5% dividend at the end of the year, then how much does he get? Basically, you have been asked what is the dividend that this man gets. So, dividend we know is equal to, it is calculated on the face value. So, we can say that dividend is 5% of the total face value right so we need to calculate total face value and we have been given the face value of one share that's 100 rupees and also we have been given the you know the rate at which the market value is calculated so it is at 20% premium so I can say that it is a 20% increase in the face value the market value so market value is equals to 20% increase in 100 that's 120 so the number of shares will be equal to the total amount invested upon the amount invested for one share that's 14400 upon 120 isn't it this zero cancels out 12 times 12 is 144 so 12 times 120 is 144 so the total number of shares is 120 now you need the total face value so the total face value is equals to the total number of shares times the face value of each share that's 100 so times 100 so this is 12000 0, 0, 0. that's 12000 rupees so you need to now calculate what is the 5% of 12000 so 5 upon 100 times 12000 cancelling out the zeros i have 120 times 5 so 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 12 is 60 so 600 rupees is the amount that this man gets after the end of one year. So option B is the correct answer.